Let's talk a little bit about snaky bows or crooked bows. This is one of my uh, snaky twisted limb model bows. Here's another one here. It's got a lot of snake to it. Not snake, but just a lot of crook and wiggle and stuff. And uh, I, I absolutely love these bows. Um, I kind of think a straight bow is a boring bow, personally, but a lot of folks like the straight ones, and that's fine. You know, we all have our own interests. But sometimes people will send me a message and say, how on earth do you get those bows to shoot straight? There's no way that they'll shoot an arrow straight. They're so crooked, because I'm used to shooting a fiberglass laminated bow that it, they tell me that if the recurve is bent out just a little bit that it won't shoot straight, which isn't true at all anyway. But let me show you a little something. These with the snake in them or any of the crooks, knots, kinks, any of that stuff, it doesn't matter. How the bow is shaped this way means absolutely nothing. It all more or less has to do with how the bow is shaped this way. When you string it up and pull it back, is the tiller smooth and even? That is what is going to send an arrow straight. A well-made bow could be all kinds of crooked and snaky this way, providing that it is tillered really well. If the limbs are out of time, that's what causes arrow flight to be rather So erratic. now, we're going to take you outside and we're going to shoot a uh, little group of arrows and show you what a tuned set of arrows can look like shooting off this bow. Uh, one of the problems people have is they pick up, they'll get a bow like this and they'll shoot whatever arrows they got and just out of coincidence the arrows that they have are not meant to shoot off this bow. It doesn't matter if this bow is straight or crooked and they go out and shoot it and they say man this bow doesn't shoot straight you know it's just got it's got too much character there's no way this thing will ever shoot straight and they get upset and call me and I say well I'll make you a set of arrows it's tuned for it and it's gonna shoot so let's go outside and we'll uh, take a few shots with this here crooked bow and we'll see how straight we can get it to shoot Okay, now we got a pretty good group there. Uh, may not be my absolute best group ever, but it point, or it shows the uh, the point that the arrows are flying good, they're flying straight, and the rest is up to you. You got to put them in the middle. Now let's go ahead and take another couple shots. I'll shoot one tuned arrow and another one that's too heavy spined and another one that's too light spined, and you'll see the difference on how they fly. And this is what happens with people sometimes if they're shooting a mixed bag of arrows and they're not grouping consistently. It's because there's variance in the spine or perhaps they're shooting arrows that are tuned for a different bow and that's why they may all group to one side or the other instead of straight in the middle and more often times than not it's just you just need to either tune your arrows to fly off your bow or you need to order a set of arrows that's tuned for your bow Well, there you've seen the difference. You've seen how the arrow hits left, the arrow hits right, you know, the spine change is different and the arrows don't group. And uh, that solves a lot of problems for a lot of people. Now, next time you wonder if one of these old snaky bows can shoot straight or not, you just look on the, uh, the target group of those tuned arrows I shot and that'll answer a lot of your questions.